Hello, I'm Caroline Pigeon, Chair of the London Assembly's Transport Committee and we're launching an investigation into the transport legacy from the 2012 Games. We're going to be looking at the huge investment in transport infrastructure, the trains and extensions to lines to see what worked there. But also we're going to be looking at the softer things, some of the perhaps behavioural changes, where there were manual ramps at stations to make them more accessible, the extra information that was available and signage for passengers, and also how freight and passengers move differently during the games time. So during the games, not only was freight transported differently and at different times of the day, we know that around a third of Londoners chose a different route to get to work or a different time to travel around London. We want to hear from you. What did you do differently? Did you decide to take up cycling during the games? Did you walk part of your journey? Did you try a different mode of transport? We want to hear what you did differently and what you might continue doing in the future. Six and a half billion pounds was spent on transport infrastructure to get London ready for the Games. We want to make sure that London truly benefits from that huge investment and to make sure that the really high levels of performance we saw on the tubes and trains during the Games is something that passengers experience every single day of the week. We're going to be having a public hearing in November with Transport for London and other transport operators to find out how they felt things went and to ask them key questions. So please do let us know your views so we can make sure we can learn from the Olympic and Paralympic legacy for many years to come.